So now, as usual, you will select the console application. <coughs> select MT EF designer model MT MTD framework designer model it is an MT one so click on finish then it is going to create EDMX file without any table here without any table here now you need to right click here go to add select an option entity entity is nothing but the table structure or you can call one row of uh, storage can be treated as entity so you can take it as an entity so it is asking for entity name you can treat it is similar to your table name okay so tbl employee so tbl employee and one more thing so it is asking for what is the primary key and identity column name so in case if you want to use id you can use otherwise in case if you want to change anything you can change according to your requirement and one more thing either you can take any integer type suppose if you feel it should be a larger number so that you can select int 64 otherwise you can let it be for int 32 itself i am not modifying that so simply click on ok so then id was created in the tbl employee so now you can add some more properties according to your requirement suppose right click now you need to right click here anywhere inside the properties go to add and select a scalar property so I am giving some name and uh, add scalar property age so then add scalar property CP that's it how I am going to add or create entities like this so but especially for age column it should be a number so that is the reason just right click on it and go if you go to the properties so there is a type will be there by default they had given the type string that means varchar type so you can change it to integer because age should be a number so that's it now is it clear as of now so we can use the values for the code and the data for that also the code will be same and we are just trying to generate the classes Code will, code will be same even for uh, db first, model first uh, or co uh, code first also. Code wise there is no we difference. Can't in code we can't change like uh, name, age, we can't add some. Oh, you you are talking about modifying the data structure, uh, table structure yes. right? So that yes. need to be done every time from the graphical itself. No, okay. next one so once you create a single table or multiple tables next one you can go to right click on the uh, on this particular edmx anywhere so you can select an option generate database from the model generate database from the model if you select this option so then you will see this window so here you can go to the new connection so there you need to enter your server name so my server name will be this one so I am going to give that server name and select the authentication type. So here, in case if you want to target an existing database by clicking the drop down, you can select it. Otherwise, in case if you want to create a new one, so then you can go like this: 24, uh, some 02, sorry, 01, 2022. I am giving some name which is not available as of now. If you select, that is also fine. 
so when i am giving a new name you should not click on test connection because this database is not there obviously system will throw an error for me okay so now you need to click on okay <coughs> when you click on okay system will comes know that the table which you are trying so the database which you are trying that does not exist so that is going to ask you to attempt to create it so do you want to create it or not so if you want to create click yes okay so then you need to remember the context name here the context name will be db model container the context name will be db model container so with this is the context name you have to work with so click on next as usual you will select entity framework version i am selecting the latest 6.x version so click on next so then system will generate the ddl query to create this table you can see this it is generating ddl query now <coughs> once it is generated so you need to click on finish then you will have one dot sql file in your project this is your dot sql file but make sure you need to remember that as of now the database was not created as of now the database was not created because we are generating an sql uh, syntax query that's it so how to generate a table means let it generate so this is what the file what we have in this nothing will be there as usual one create table will be there after that adding primary key on the column that's it so that that file will get generated here you can see db model pdmx.sql now whenever you here there is an option to execute you can see there is an option to execute if you click this then this syntax or script sql script will get executed so it is asking again for server name for confirmation so give your server name this is my server name and if you click connect so then commands completed successfully now if i go to my server so if i refresh my databases there i can see db 24012022 so in that table will be tbl employees so there we have the column id name age and city is it is clear to everyone now yes sir Yes, now coming to the queries execution so as usual you are going to write using so i i asked you to remember the context name right uh, name right db model container db model container some db is equal to new db model container so in case if you are unable to remember this name you can search for this edmx file so there whatever the name of this context is there if you open that sorry not this one this one dot cs file so here you can find the model name okay just a minute please hello chapan bhaiya it's a office ma ah present na under out ah okay so this is your context name so now you can use that context name then you need to create object for your model name what is the model name tbl employee employee is the name i given so employee will become the table name <coughs> Execute that. 
this code wise again you can execute the same syntax however we uh, selected all the rows however we selected a single row however we updated deleted the same syntax you can use it again and again so code wise there is no change at all so if you select this tbl employee the record will be there so any queries in this is it clear yes sir 